So yeah, Grandin Homes is having an open house this weekend. I, I think that's definitely something the kids uh, and me and Mr. Craney would be interested in going to check out. Let the kids see see the you know the different modular homes that they're building and how they're doing it versus how we're how we're building it. So we had uh, an open house at our retail center and the kids loaded up on a bus, made a 45 minute ride up and came up to tour some homes. Let's go guys. It was, you know, it was a lot of fun just to, we walked, uh, I can't remember exactly how many kids there were, but walked them all through, or, or students I should say, walked them through uh, all the homes we had on the lot and uh, so they could see what the end result of, of their product could be because you know lots of these students may or may not have been in a, in a new manufactured home and um, we uh, it, it was a lot of fun just to watch them you know they climbed in and out of bathtubs and out of sh and in showers and out of showers and and it was just uh, there was a lot of excitement there I just want to start off but I think I think what you're all doing is awesome you know it's uh, I'm real involved in the Kentucky Manufactured Housing Association. We've been trying to get some schools in Kentucky to do what you're all doing uh, for three or four years. Um, and it's, you know, and you're all on the forefront of something that, you know, it's gonna end up being a pilot program, hopefully for all across the country. That's why when, when Mike kind of told me what you all were doing, I wanted to get involved as much as I could to help you all do stuff. And I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to coming down in, in the spring and, helping you all, you know, moving the house and setting it and stuff. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. One each, folks, one each. Grab a donut and move on. But this is this house here is pretty cool. This is called the Deer Valley Sozo. It's got a 712 roof on it. So these set up and stay here. And if somebody wants this house, you have it ordered and then? Yeah, we keep them about a year. Gotcha. and then sell them off and gotcha. you know so they, we've, we've already switched our inventory a couple of times and yeah the only one we've kind of re repeated was the triple wide down here we i mean all we did was change the exterior color on it but um that house that's pretty awesome too we'll go in it because it's amazing Yeah, this is huge. Justin. And Deer Valley. Look at Valley, shower, good lord. Deer Valley marketed their self as the heaviest built home in the industry. So the deck, the when you, your joist, is it built in with the, the joist? Yeah, I think they. So they just use treated joists? I think they have a band board and then they have treated coming. Oh, okay. Off of so it's not all continued. Yes, okay. Yes. Gotcha. This is called my next house. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I promise you, he'll sell them to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We can sign you up in there. <laughs> Yeah, he said Deer Valley, that's kind of what they're known for is having huge bathrooms. Is there a lot of drywall cracking or is it just kind of pretty minimal? It's pretty minimal. Is you know, it? Um, that's some, one thing we don't really know yeah, what to expect. I mean, are you gluing the, yeah. the drywall to it too? I mean, you shouldn't have, you're going to have some. Right, you yeah. Know, hopefully you don't have any major cracks. Um, it's, a lot of it's just going to be hairline cracks. Now over the windows and doors, yeah. I mean, it's common. They're going to crack. Right. right here, always. You yeah. Know? Um. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The shower was fired. <laughs> I like the house. <laughs> yeah. Do what? We're we're gonna what well, we're we won't have this most likely because we'll lay half the floor and then this won't get it until the house is set and then so that way we can get away from having that scene. I'm digging this. This one's my favorite. Is it? Yeah. This one here is a sunshine home. Go look at that closet. Go in check there. out this closet, bro. It's cool. Holy cow! This is bigger than the, my bedroom when my house growing up. I guarantee it. It's very close to it. I promise. Mike, there's a hinged roof house right here with the roof laid down. Oh yeah. If you want. To... 
So guys, right out the window here is the hinged roof. If you guys, that's what ours is going to look like. It's going to be hinged down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that they were uh, really impressed with what they saw and you know I did overhear some of them talk about how nice they were and, and so forth so um, it left a real good impression on them. I think to them still a home's just a home you know and in the grand scheme of things I think we should all think that there really is no difference you know it's um, it whether it's a, a site built house or a, or a manufactured home they're still homes you know we're just assembling one on site versus assembling one in a building. So let's go out and cut another one. Use this or cut another one just like it and bring it in. A top, okay? Let Cole cut it. He cut that nice. Here's uh, use a pencil. Yes. Yeah, building the trusses with the kids only having three periods a day with them it's been slow and go but it's been a learning process for them so um, i think it's been good for them to, to see the process and to do it and uh, it'll make them appreciate store-bought trusses a little more <laughs> work your way work your way back there we go go ahead and I know our nails are going to be uh, sticking out of the back. We're just going to bend them over. But go ahead and uh, shoot it, flush it up, flush it up. Give me about two or three nails in it. Shoot it uh, at an angle so it's not going through quite as much. Either way, just go ahead and shoot it. Come over here, on this side. Just put pressure down with your finger back here. And shoot it. Yep. Like that? Yeah. Almost yeah, done good. building our trestles. I think we have maybe three or four more trestles to build, and then <clears throat> we can finish setting them. Uh, we decided to, since the last time you've been here, we've uh, put some beams in on the ends here to cantilever out our porch, uh, so then we'll have, be able to set our trestles all the way out, so we can basically complete 95% of the roof here. Uh, if we didn't do that, we'd have a lot more work to do once we got on site. But. Habitat wanted us to try to build the, as much of the house as possible. They wanted to try to get the porches built in the shop too, so we're, uh, we can't leave it out some beams to be able to frame as much of the porch roof as possible. We're gonna take, we're gonna nail uh, this brace, this two by on, on the end out here, where it kicks back, hits the house. Like we got a 45 cut on it. And after we nail it out here, we'll sit there, we'll have a, put a two by on the top to nail it back to the house or we'll nail it back into the window. And we'll straighten that beam where it needs to be, we'll string it and we'll eyeball it also to get it set. So tomorrow we can start setting trusses. <laughs> Superintendent set up a tour today of all the vocational um, programs at Prairie Central so they can see where their tax dollars are going. Because um, school has changed a lot from when they probably went to school. So that just uh, basically just to bring them out, show them what all, where all their money's going, um, getting put into the public schools, and then show them what we're doing. Because uh, all of our programs here, we do pretty, pretty neat stuff. Let's take them out behind the house and these guys are doing the tour. All right. So my name is Jackson Hubert. I'm a 10th grader that takes the construction pathway here at Perry Central. 
The house was designed to split in half to be able to get it out of the garage. Obviously, it wouldn't be able to fit without the without it splitting. You want to show them where that's at? Uh, it's right in the dead center right here. The manufactured homes, when they found out that Josh and Michael had talked to them and they found out we were doing it, this is one of the only models like this in a, in a high school across pretty the country. Sure we're the only, we're the first school to ever try to build manufacturing. I yeah. Your last year, the students built the temporary foundation walls. I don't know if you guys can see them. There are four of them down through here, uh, triple two by 12s, and they have big heavy duty casters underneath of them. And then also before we left last year, the students actually built the subfloor. Um, we glued it and screwed it all together. And then when the students came in this year, they started uh, building walls. They had to lay out, obviously, the, the walls, doors, and windows. And our engineering students actually designed the house, did the blueprints for the house for, uh, for Habitat. We just got to remove a few bolts. Then we'll take the locks off the casters, slide this section over, and it'll all just come right apart. There's nothing, these are not nailed together at all, these two beams, they're just butted right now. And uh, once, like I said, we'll take this front section off of the temporary foundation walls. He'll back right under this house. He's bringing hydraulic jacks to jack this side up. We'll take our temporary foundation beams off, move them out of the way, and he'll set it down and pull it out. These houses are actually built stronger than a normal home just so they can withstand the, the shipping. When is the completion date? We're on shipping in May. In May? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of work to do then. Yes, we do. Uh -huh. Good 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 yeah. The roof is going to be too tall for to get out of our shop door, so our door I think is 18 feet tall. Uh, so we had to have, come up with a way for the to get the house out. So we decided to do a hinged roof. After touring some different uh, facilities, we they, they did a lot of hinged roofs on theirs. So uh, that's kind of what we wanted to go with. And the shipping height for going down the road, uh, Jason Sillings with Grandin Homes is going to be moving the house for us. He said he would like to be under 16 feet going down the road, so we knew that was kind of the height that we had to be. We didn't really know which hinges uh, we needed. We've never really hinged a roof before. Uh, we didn't. There were several different kinds we found online. We didn't know which ones worked best. Uh, so I, I again reached out to Jason Sillings, uh, and he got us in touch with Sunshine Homes in Alabama, and uh, they uh, donated the hinges to us. And we were kind of in a time crunch for the hinges, and they uh, overnighted them to us to get them to us as quick as possible. So uh, yeah, that was. Great that they could get that to us. Here we go, guys. Let's go up. It's a personal ladder. Let's do that. You're just lifting. Okay. All right, guys. I'm count three. We're going up. One, two, three. So yeah, we got all the trusses set. Uh, students finished up the gutter boards uh, a couple days ago. And now we're working on uh, setting the hinged portion of the roof up. And uh, yeah, getting that straightened out, ready to go. And then we'll be rolling on roof decking and uh, house wrap and doors and windows soon. Mm. Oh my god.